The finals of the 51st Times News Open concluded at Classic Lanes on Sunday, January 19th. After a good day of scoring at Westway Lanes, defending champion Mike Shady carried a 66-pin lead into the final nine games of match play. Shady would expand that lead to 91 pins after game 10, when the match between the leaders resulted in a 192-188 victory for Shady over Lee Amy Jr. Six-time champion Ron Palombi Jr. got off to a hot start with a 268-214 win over Corey Bithell and a 279-182 win over Beaver Clark. With a 279-223 victory over Tom Petroff, Lou LaFuria threw his hat into the ring. It remained a four-man race for a good part of the afternoon. After game 11, Shady's lead was cut to 38 as Amy defeated good friend Chris Moffat 236-224 while Tom Lytle was taking down Shady, 256-214. Wins by Palombia and Laferia meant that only 59 pins separated the top four. Later on, Lou Laferia posted a 288-205 win over Corey Bithell, and that was good enough to vault into the lead. With Amy and Palombi dropping their matches, fourth place was now 103 pins back. In game 14, B. Amy bounced back with a 268-212 victory over Dave Style. Ron Palombi looked like he was destined to make up ground, but fell to Lou LaFuria in a tight match, 237-234. Amy's 268 moved him back to within 20 pins, while Palombi was now 136 back. Game 15 was even more exciting, as Lee Amy Jr. tossed the second consecutive 268, besting Mike Dunkel's 244. Lou LaFuria remained steady with a 245-218 victory over Steve Benke. Mike Shady with a 247-202 victory over Bob Kane was three pins behind Amy. With a 278-254 victory over Corey Bissell and a 289-225 win over Beaver Clark, Randy Prue was now in fourth and would be looking to face off against Shady in the position round with Lee Amy Jr. and Lou LaFuria locking horns in the number one, number two match. In the lead match, both bowlers would struggle while Shady was off to a good start and holding a nice lead against Prue. Lee Amy Jr. put together some strikes and finished off Lou Laferia 212 to 182 in the first game of the position round. Mike Shady finished strong and recorded a 227 to 177 victory over Randy Prue and found himself in the lead, 12 pins ahead of Amy and 75 pins ahead of Lou Laferia. In the second game of the position round, LaFuria settled in and began stringing strikes. The first eight before an errant shot in the ninth resulted in a seven count spare. With Amy now struggling, Shady knew he had to keep striking to keep pace with Lou LaFuria. After a spare in the first, he did just that. One strike after another. LaFuria finished off Lee Amy 277 to 209, while Mike Shady just kept on striking. He ended up with the high game of the day, a 290 and another victory, this time over Prue's 183. LaFuria had the high round of the day, 2,158 for nine games, an average of 239.78. His actual pinfall for the finals was two pins better than Shady. However, Shady collected three more match victories and those 90 pins made all the difference. Mike Shady ended up with a 14-3 record, while Lou LaFuria, Lee Amy, Tom Lytle, and Randy Prue all sported records of 11-6. The last time a champion came from outside the 1-2 match was in 1993 at Green Garden Lanes when George Warren Jr. shot a 286 to claim victory. Here's a look at how everybody finished in the 2014 Times News Open. Coming in 16th is Mike Dunkel. Tournament qualifying leader Bob Kane Jr. finished 15th. Steve Benke came in 14th. The always animated Beaver Clark came in 13th. First time finalist Jason Dunn came in 12th. Your 11th place finisher is Chris Moffat. The other first time finalist in the group is Dave Style, and he finished 10th. The ninth place finisher is Pat Malone. Tom Petroff came in eighth.
Randy Pru is your seventh place finisher. Coming in sixth is Tom Lytle. Six-time champion Ron Palombi Jr. finished fifth. Corey Bithell had another solid tournament and finished fourth. The record-breaking Lee Amy Jr. finished third. Lou LaFuria is your runner-up. The 2014 Times News Open champion is Mike Shady. It was a fun day. It was a, it was a great tournament. Uh, competitive as always. Um, and always always a blessing to win in front of your family. All the all the room for me today was from side to side. I haven't played the lane like that almost since, boy, since the mid-90s. And uh, so I, I knew to get angled today, I had to get, I had to play the hook to the right. And it's been a long time since I've kind of used a strategy like that. And I switched some different balls, and I finally kind of got it where I could get my ball to face up properly. And the last three or four games, um, once I got my hand to feel good in the ball, I, I started throwing it like I was yesterday, uh, where I knew that, you know, it's either going to be a ring 10 or it's going to be pretty close. I, I wanted to dedicate this tournament to Bill Straub, who had an aortic dissection last week and who almost died. And, and he's, he's the reason I've won anything professionally. He's the reason I, I, I had success in college. I've had sex success at the USBC, why I, I can still compete at a high level. So, you know, as I got into the later in the matches today, I kept hearing him saying, one shot at a time, just ho humming. I want you to post every shot. It's all about making quality shots. And I just kept replaying it and replaying that. I said, if I'm going to lose this tournament, I'm not going to lose because I'm not making quality shots. And I started getting into that focus and that rhythm. It's pretty neat to win a tournament, uh, and I dedicate this to Bill, and Bill, I'm pulling for you back there, and, and uh, I, I can't wait till you're back home and you're healthy, and uh, um, I love you, and, and thank you, and, and uh, get well.